Hey guys, and welcome to Family Bible Study number 33. Glad you could join us for tonight's study. Tonight, we'll be looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Grab your families and your Bibles, then gather around and read that chapter together. Then come back to this video. So in this chapter, Paul begins to talk about the foundation for Christians. He wanted to be sure that everyone understood exactly who their faith should be placed in. In verse 10, he describes how he laid the initial foundation that now someone else was building on. He warns that those who are building on the foundation he laid should do so carefully. Paul tells us that the foundation he laid was based in Jesus Christ, and no other foundation would do. Some of you may not know this, but my dad is actually a home builder. He came up from Mississippi, where I was born, to build a house here for my family. As a part of that, I got to watch every single step of the house being built from the very beginning to the very end. You would not believe the amount of preparation that goes into just the beginning stages of a house. There's good reason for that too. If the beginning stages of a home are not done well, then the rest of the house will suffer because of it. So many things are impacted by the initial stages of building a home. The same is true for our faith today. Every day we're constantly building on a foundation that began when we gave our lives to Christ. That foundation is incredibly important for how the rest of our lives develop. And when we choose to begin with Jesus, the rest of the house can be built successfully. Paul does warn us, though, that as we build our house on the foundation of Jesus Christ, we can't use gold or silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw. These things are not fit to be built on this foundation in Jesus. Our lives need to consist of something more than material things. Instead, we should be building towards something spiritual that cannot be burned up in the end. Our life must be about the things that Jesus saw as important, loving each other and loving God. Take a moment in the upcoming section to pause this video and then come back after you're done with the family discussion questions. We'll see you in a second. This week, as a family challenge, I want you to go outside and take a look at your own house. Talk about the various elements that make up a good home. Then take some time to discuss what are the good elements that make up a strong faith. As you think about those elements, discuss which one each member of your family may be weak in. Find some unique ways to challenge each other to grow and develop your spiritual house into something that will last a lifetime. This has been John White with the Westside Church of Christ. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.